and welcome to Moments with the Master. I am here with Father Josh to discuss the readings for the second Sunday after Christmas. Uh, the readings are Sirach chapter 24, verses basically verses 1 through 12, um, Psalm 147, more or less verses 13 through 21, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 18, and the gospel is John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18, which this is like the fourth time this uh, reading has appeared over the Christmas season. Yeah, I've noticed that. that. It's almost like it's really important. Almost like it's really important. Um, so I'm going to skip it and instead read the <laughs> Sirach verse. <clears throat> oh, you know uh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Speaking of reading things that are really important, I read the Athanasian Creed for the first time uh, two Sundays ago. Oh, I do not. You read it like for the first time in your life or the first time in, in a church? Uh, first time in my life. What'd you think? I loved it. I was like, I wow. I, I, the first time I read it, it was early on in, uh, in my search into Catholicism. And I was like disturbed by the, um, if you do not believe the Catholic faith, whole and entire. But then as they go through describing the Catholic faith, which is basically just Trinitarian Christianity. Yes. Um, I, yeah, it, it was, I wish... I don't know why it's not used more. I d I'm not sure that it's one of the ecumenical creeds. Um, well, because and, it's it's exceptionally complicated and and very it is, yes. it's windy. It, it's it's probably better than uh, because of the repetition. It's probably better than even the Shield of the Trinity to describe the Trinity. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, oh well, good. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. Um, okay, Sirach. Uh, Wisdom will praise herself and will glory in the midst of her people. In the assembly of the Most High, she will open her mouth, and in the presence of his host, she will glory. I came forth from the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth like a mist. I dwelt in high places, and my throne was in a pillar of cloud. The creator of all things gave me a commandment, and the one who created me assigned a place for my tent. And he said, Make your dwelling in Jacob, and in Israel receive your inheritance. From eternity in the beginning he created me, and for eternity I shall not cease to exist. In the holy tabernacle I ministered before him, and so I was established in Zion, in the beloved city. Likewise he gave me a resting place, and in Jerusalem was my dominion. So I took root in an honored people, in the portion of the Lord who is their inheritance. Um, now, that is an interesting one. And we've discussed multiple times how um, wisdom is almost and possibly always described in the feminine, mm -hmm. um, and yet is usually uh, assigned with a line, you know, believed to be Jesus. Um, and, and especially here, it, it definitely appears to be um Jesus, like this, this appears to be an incarnational thing. By the way, one of the conspiracy theories I've heard about why the the post establishment there, there was a there was a Jewish council to make a an Old Testament canon and Old Testament canon, right? Or for them, just the canon. It was that, uh, that ninety BCE. After, yeah, the Council of Jamnia. Like, yeah, um, and. The conspiracy theory is, well, I don't know if it's conspiracy theory or not, but that um, they deliberately took out books like this, not because they were spurious, but because they contributed were too much to the incarnational view of Christianity and the Messiah that Jesus represented. Um, like the, the one, uh, and when... And when all things were on their quiet course, the Almighty Word uh, leapt down from His throne. Um, anyway, hey, so, so this I, I will say there are a lot of aspects of this that do sound incarnational. It does, though, say He created me. Speaking of Yahweh, so I mean, obviously Jesus is uncreated. It does, but that was well. Okay, so. Um, I came forth from the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth like a mist. So 
in that one, it's not like he was created. But then later, from eternity in the beginning, he created me. And so it's like there's two separate things. Um, and I wondered if that might be, you know, Jesus, the word uh, proceeding from the Father, uh, hmm. like from his mouth, proceeding from the Father, he spoke me. And then he also created me, meaning was born uh, uh, born as a man. When we are connecting uh, this passage with John 1. Right, exactly. And exactly. Well, actually, so let me read it anyway. Um, <laughs> in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And then skipping over, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory as of the only son of the Father. Mm. Um, so, uh, the, uh, 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 yes, so I, I think that that is one of the reasons that those were paired together. Um, well, I, uh, so what I'm going to do, Josh, is, uh, talk about this thing that I've emailed you because oh. there, there is, uh, if I'd known it was for going to be for tonight, I were today, I would have, uh, <laughs> uh, that's all right. Sorry. Uh, there is a, the hymn that I would like to discuss this week is one that I actually wrote and I'm going to be using a recording that, that I, that you have, um, or that I got Josiah to send you, um, so that um, that is not a great recording. Um, but I loved the thing that this was based on so much that I had to at least try to turn it into something. So I'm going to read the original first. This comes from Ephraim the Syrian. Um, and it is he he is like so good with his with his um hymns about the nativity with his hymns about the incarnation at, at capturing it so ephraim the syrian by the way um we're talking fourth century i believe um okay so this is how it goes a wonder is your mother the lord entered her and became a servant the word entered her and became silent within her. Thunder entered her and his voice was still. The shepherd of all entered her. He became a lamb in her and came forth bleeding. Bleating. The belly of your mother changed the order of things. O oh, you that orders all. The rich went in, he came out poor. The high one went in, he came out lowly. Brightness went into her and clothed himself and came forth a despised form. The mighty went in and clad himself with fear from the belly. He that gives food to all went in and got hunger. He that gives uh, to all drink went in and got thirst. Naked and bare came forth from her, the clother of all. So, first of all, just so amazing. Hmm. Um, I've been thinking about that. Uh, what, what brought that to mind recently was um, I've been discussing with uh, Aaron our brother-in-law and uh, Father Sean, the construction of the church where I've been going. I, if I can remember to get the picture and send it to you, I will. It's a beautiful church in a very <sighs> Baroque, somewhat Rococo style. Um, you know, lots of marble looking things. There's, there's angels that are holding the Ave Maria prayer in Latin. Hmm. But the, the thing about the church that is interesting and if I end up getting you a picture, this is the first one I like to show. So on the outside, there are two steeples. Not a problem. And then when you go inside, um, there are, so you, you've got uh, uh, up in the front, there's a picture, uh, a painting of Mary holding Jesus, and she's surrounded by angels. That's fine. And uh, this is called Mary, Queen of Angels. I'm also great with that. Um, and then there's, uh, um, at the altar, there's a crucifix and on either side of the crucifix, now in an Orthodox church, um, in, in the front you have, there's always these two icons. There's one of Mary and there's one of, I believe John the Baptist. 
Um, and yeah, and here it was Mary on one side, uh, showing her holy heart. That's a big Catholic thing. And then on the other side is Jesus showing his holy heart. And that's where the problem comes because they're, they, they're exactly the same height and they look exactly the same. And then on either side of the church, and I'll send you pictures of these two. Uh, so I'll, I'll send you a picture of the front. And then on one side, there's a series of stained glass windows that's the life of Mary from one of the apocryphal uh, New Testament-ish not not bad one like Gospel of Judas, uh, another right. one that's about the life of Mary, and then on the other side is the life of Jesus. Um, so, I will ask you first of all, what is your thought about that? Any of that about like focusing about the construction, the way they have it set up? Well, it just it seems like they're counterposing Jesus and Mary, which seems a little. I mean that bothers me because yes. I so, uh, because ahead. I mean Mary very clearly at all times elevated Christ. I thought that, and to me that's the whole point is that she points to Jesus, not takes away from Jesus. There's that there's a hymn that I talked about. Um, I, I want to say last year, maybe it was this year, but um mary the dawn christ the perfect day mary the gate christ the perfect way it's a great hymn. it's it's very theologically sound um what father sean said about uh the construction of the church was he would have been fine if it had been the life of mary all the way around mm -hmm. or there's another church downtown where all of the windows on the sides they're, they're not like from scripture at all they're all just images of saints and he's he said uh, that's great um, because you know it's it's a you're you're conveying something that this is we're surrounded by the saints that we're worshiping with right um, but but yes that particular thing sets up a false equivalency right yes um, <clears throat> where especially more than anything else even more than the windows having Jesus on one side of the crucifix and Mary on the other is really odd um so it is it's it's like it's two churches that were joined together one dedicated to mary and yeah. one dedicated to jesus to the, even the, like the sacred the outside, heart of christ yes on the outside um and so i was thinking about that and and then there's this one uh, in in counterposing it against this uh thing here from ephraim the syrian where it is it is a it is a prayer and a hymn uh, that a lot of Christians of a certain stripe would have a problem with because it starts off talking about wonder is your mother, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's very clear in this hymn about who and what Mary is and who and what God is in a way that the construction of that church does not convey. The Lord entered, the word entered, the thunder entered, the shepherd entered, um, the, the rich, the high, the brightness. Um, those were all of the things that the pre-incarnate word was. And then entering the womb of Mary um, becomes what we are. Right. Uh, taking on our flesh, becoming the despised thing. Um, <clears throat> and so it, it's, uh, um, it, and it's not even that Mary like dragged him down as, as if, as if she had the power to do that. It was the wonder is that, um, well, like the temple, the wonder is like the, the wonder of the temple that mm. God deigned to dwell with us using her as his vessel to become the agent of his change into what we are. Um, but Mary is very clearly the, the temple that God used to become human here in a way that, um, you don't see it. It is, <laughs> it is almost, um, 
as if there were dueling gods in this yeah. other church. And it's not like the liturgy conveys that or that their um, sermons convey that or anything like that. There's just a subtle, um, I just don't think they were thinking very much when they, I'll tell you what I think they were thinking. I think they wanted to have a church dedicated to Mary, Queen of Angels, but they didn't want to make. They didn't want to give Jesus the short shrift, so they so they made sure that he had equal representation. Right. <laughs> um, and ended up. What is the name of the church? Mary, Queen of Angels, and Oli in New York. Oh, it is. Oh, the name of the church is Mary, Queen of Angels. Okay, yes. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which you know, and you here's so here's have a problem with right, and I, just just as an aside, it is because this is. This is the kind of thing that a lot of Protestants have with Catholic mm-hmm. churches because it looks like idolatry, even though it's not meant to be. It can look like it. And I just, now, now, just where I am now, I'm like, that just makes me laugh a little bit because I'm like, okay, so talk to me about the American flag on your stage next to your cross. Right. You know, talk to me about... I mean, I can go through a long list of things, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's always, it, it was always kind of funny to me how, um, you know, statues of Mary were idolatrous, but we as a family made our pilgrimage to Washington, D.C. to more or less kneel at the foot of the giant um, Abraham Lincoln and the, <laughs> and the Egyptian obelisk to, to George Washington and so forth. Um, anyway, so I wanted to, uh, write a song. Um, <clears throat> the first one, um, was, I, I tried to use the words more or less as they are written. <clears throat> so I'm just going to read them off to you. I would like to know which of the one, which of these you like better. Okay. Um, Lay, this is the first version. Laying down his power, Almighty God became the insecure, establisher of earth, set aside his wealth and became poor. Condescending from his throne, the, th- the king became the servant, thus to seek. Exalted above angels, he laid aside his glory and was meek. Uh, and then the chorus goes, mystified our hands we raise, offering unbroken praise to the one who makes absurd things possible. Your mother's womb, the roles reversed to rescue mankind from the curse, to die our death, that by your death, death would be killed. He who clothed the heavens, left the heavens, Adam to pursue, came forth stripped of splendor, dressed in humble flesh of lowly hue. The one who feeds creation came to suffer hunger, suffer thirst. Wearing all our weakness, he came to kill our death and break our curse. The word of God was silent, as if the as if the thunderbolt had made no sound. The shepherd had become a sheep, that all his long lost land might now be found. Um, so that was the version, and I didn't think that anybody would ever use it. Um, <laughs> and then at the time, I was uh, the the worship leader at the church where I was going asked me to do a uh, um, a worship song writing class with him, and so I submitted that one. And somebody said that it was too wordy and needed to be. So this is the second version, which is supposed to be, I don't know if it's more understandable, but it's supposed to be more singable, more, you know, contemporary christian hmm. The founder came forth famished. The author suffered thirst. The maker came forth naked. The blessed bore our curse. Builder became beggar. The framer wore our frame. Designer became destitute. The shaper bore our shame. And then the same chorus. Almighty became insecure. The master became meek. Providence became the poor. The shepherd became sheep. Highest became humble. God's son became a slave. Creator became creature. His created ones to save. The word was silent in the womb. Infinity confined. The endless one was limited. Eternity and time. So, <laughs> that's funny. I can see how the second one would fit more into a uh, contemporary setting. I, I I actually like the first version better, just because I like the uh, I like the poetry of it. 
I, they're both well, good. I, I I could see using either one of them. Well, I'm going to send you the first one then, also because that recording is better than the other one. Um, I did a um, – what you will hear, even though I didn't mean to do this, um, is that I used um, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, I, an all, a modified version of that, um, as the melody. Um, and then I had like a descending minor, you know, to try to show the mystery, a descending minor chord um for the for the verses because that's what minors do they descend josh yes can you what'd you you say because that's what minors do they descend because they got to go down to dig out the ore yes um and then uh for the choruses i use the what's called the traditional gospel lift um it's just a it, that might really matter, but you know, it goes back up. So, um, condescension and, uh, <laughs> ascension, if you will. Hmm. Um, so that is it. That is a description of the, of the, of the song. Um, and that was mostly what I had to say. Uh, right. do you have other things to add? I don't, I not really. I just, I, yeah, no, not really. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I give you my heart, my soul, and my strength. Make me a good man. Amen. Laying down his power, Almighty God became the insecure. Establisher of earth Set aside his wealth And became poor Condescending from his throne The king became the servant Thus to seek Exalted above angels, he laid aside his glory and was meek. Mystified our hands we raise, offering unbroken praise to the one who makes absurd things possible. Mother's womb, the roles reversed To rescue mankind from the curse To die our death, that by our death Death would be killed Alleluia He who clothed the heavens Left the heavens, Adam, to pursue. Came forth stripped of splendor, Dressed in humble flesh of lowly hue. The one who feeds creation, Came to suffer hunger, suffer thirst. Wearing all our weakness, he came to kill our death and break our curse. Mystified our hands we raise, offering umbrella. And praise to the one who makes absurd things possible. Your mother's womb, the roles reversed to rescue mankind from the curse, to die our death, that by our death, death would be killed. Alleluia. Who 
of God was silent, as if the thunderbolt had made no sound. The shepherd had become a sheep, that all his long-lost lambs might now be found. Mystified our hands we raised, offering unbroken praise to the one makes absurd things possible. Your mother's womb, the roles reversed to rescue mankind from the 